Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking Re Glory. So there's this video that's currently trending online about the MD of Access Bank addressing his employees about the changes that's going to be happening in Access Bank Nigeria moving forward. And these changes are going to be effective till December 2020. Um, of course, we know it's because of the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria and also globally. So the video is causing a lot of like controversy a lot of opera online especially coming from people who are working with access bank or who have loved ones or relatives that actually work with access bank so um i'm gonna play that clip of the um, md actually saying what he said and then afterwards i'm gonna give you guys my own perspective my own frank opinion about what i think about the changes that the md has talked about so don't go anywhere watch it at the end of this video and then don't forget to also drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below i would definitely love to know what you think let's jump into the video now so we probably don't need as many security men as required even to the fact that we're not going to have um all our branches open between now and december we certainly don't need all the security men we don't need all the tea girls we don't need all the cleaners we don't need all the tellers etc etc so that number of staff which represents 75 percent of our staff strength i think is one that we need to basically speak with their employers with a view to getting them all right to rationalize to the levels that we think will be necessary to basically sustain a mean but actually uh, 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 customer service oriented institution so we are going to be looking at that and as i speak to you today um, there are several discussions that will go on with a view to making sure that we rationalize and bring those numbers to what are acceptable numbers for institution given the days ahead that we see the second has to do with our professional cost now that is one that is very tricky and it's tricky because I do understand and appreciate the fact that it's going to, you know, bring its own pain to staff. We basically have to make the adjustments the same way you sounded uh, when we spoke 10 days ago with respect to basically cutting down costs. I will be the first to take the heat and I'm going to take the largest pay cut, which will be as much as 40 percent. The rest shall have to cascade right through the institution. Everybody may have to make some adjustments of some sort. Let me quickly say that it's not the best of times. We understand the difficulty people are going through, but we also understand the higher calling of creating an institution that can continue to provide for us. And the fact that tomorrow, when things do improve, we shall revert to what is normal. But what is important is those adjustments are required at a time where we see Armageddon or where we see great difficulty coming in to make sure that if there is one institution left standing in this country as a bank, it must be access. So that's the decision that we've had to take. Now, please don't get me wrong. We know it's a difficult decision. We appreciate the fact that it's going to hurt people, but we necessarily have to make that adjustment to ensure that we protect and protect our franchise and, and make us stronger as we move on. Now, into the first the thing I want to say is I am not particularly surprised about the content of that video. I am not surprised about what the MD said. Now, um, remember, if you remember quite all right, I did a video last week and I titled that video post COVID-19 predictions. And a lot of people thought that maybe Glory was going crazy or maybe I was a harbinger of bad news. But then um, I, I, I just laughed it off because look, this is a very, very regular situation. It's not just happening in nigeria it's happening globally especially in the u.s as well now um if you didn't see that video just check one of the cards that's hanging right now and you will see that video or um check in the description box of this um video and you will see that video watch it and see my predictions now what i have to say is that um a couple of days back um i watched gary v's um instagram live he was having a conversation with a woman and the woman said that um she as um that she has a job that she literally hates her job she doesn't like her job she doesn't like the work environment and all of that and um she says she was trying to leave trying to go and invest her money in other businesses and then she said but to her shock something happened i just killed one mosquito that's trying to bite me <laughs> So the woman said that to her shock and her surprise, a company carried out a very massive downsizing. Now this downsizing affected like literally half the number of staff in that company in the US. And then to her major disappointment or shock, um, she has this very, very close friend that's also a colleague of hers. And then she and this friend, they, they have the same job description. But then this friend of hers 
was also affected by the downsizing so she said she felt so much guilt she felt really really sad and then Gary Vee asked her one question that okay so what's your what's your take now do you still want to quit your job and she was like quit her job for where hey now she's not quitting her job anywhere this one that they are doing downsizing in major companies then you know what's the hope or what's the assurance that she is going to get another job when she leaves her job so guys that's just an example of the numerous things that's happening currently around the world I did that video because I had sat down I had thought about the situation and in my head I knew instantly that look this COVID-19 it has been happening for two months now companies are shut down businesses are shut down a lot of business owners they are racking their brains on how they are going to make back their money that they have lost from not being fully operational in the past two months and a lot of people are going to be making a lot of business decisions not because they are selfish but because they have spent a lot a lot of time money resources in building up a business and the last thing they want is for COVID-19 to not just kill people but, but to also ravage their businesses a lot of people might see it as very very selfish decisions but then if you look at it as a business owner sometimes it's probably the right thing to do at this point in time yes it's going to affect a lot of people that's why a lot of motivational speakers have been saying to people learn one or two things online learn anything that you can do check yourself if there's any skill or talent that you have start putting it into into action you know start preparing your mind for the worst or for the best because at this point nobody is sure of what is going to happen now the controversy um, from that video is a lot of people saying that oh um, why would access bank donate 1 billion to the federal government of Nigeria to fight against COVID-19 and then they are coming out to say now that they're going to um, reduce salaries by 40 percent they are going to cut down on operations of most staff look the reason is because with the new um stipulations from the government um businesses are supposed to resume from 9 a.m to 3 p.m and if you look at it as a business owner it's not really um profitable to a business because if a staff's hours has reduced from 9 a.m to 3 p.m instead of maybe 9 to 5 or 9 to 6 and from my own understanding a lot of bank workers they actually resume from 8 or 7 30 a.m and they close by 8 p.m so if you look at it if you are paying someone a full-blown salary of let's say a hundred thousand naira for doing 10 hours of work or nine hours of work i think it's only it only makes a lot of sense if the person is working lesser hours and you are paying the person according to the number of hours that the person is working yeah it might sound very inhumane but then as a business owner you just need to start thinking that way and I think that's what the MD of Access Bank is doing yes I know I know you guys are going to say that oh glory is delusional glory is sounding really really harsh but then that's just the gospel truth I mean fine forget the fact that he actually spent a lot of money you know um giving um the federal government one billion which i am blaming them for because in my head i am thinking why would you give the government one billion naira to fight covid19 and then you have customers that are actually banking with you and you know that covid19 is literally going to affect all your customers why didn't you just split that money and credit all the accounts of all your customers or uh, yeah aside your customers also spend that money in empowering your staff to keep them you know to keep them during this period of hardship but instead you give it to the government and now nobody knows what the money has been used for palliative measures and all of that relief materials oh they've been shouting they will share they will share nobody has seen anything so for me that one billionaire that access bank gave to the government it was a total waste a total total waste that money has gone into the black hole now in other news this thingy about um cutting down staff salaries it's expected i am not really surprised because as i said earlier i've talked about it on my channel before but pro probably couldn't really take it serious so um moving forward moving forward what i want to encourage everybody to do is um calm down don't panic and don't try to expect the best don't try to also expect the worst as well just prepare your mind for anything because the truth is access bank is just one of the thousands of banks and thousands of businesses that's going to take this kind of decision so if you think that you are safe you probably have a very very high rank in your operational side of things at the place where you work or you're probably the owner of the business or you're probably the ceo of the business i don't know 
but then the gospel truth is decisions like this many more is going to come in the coming months many more decisions like this is going to come already i have a friend that owns a cafe and my friend is thinking that is this going to be very very profitable if my staff resume from 9 a.m to 3 p.m and they are not making the kind of money that they're supposed to make you know on a normal day and then how much worth of stuff a, a, a product is a customer supposed to buy before we do delivery is it going to be very very reasonable to make that kind of business decision i'm going to be paying for electricity i'm going to be paying for water i'm going to be paying for everything at the location where my business is located you know so a lot of business owners are thinking in this regard and let's not forget that in as much as business owners you know have that responsibility of trying to help their staff to secure their jobs they are also trying to secure their businesses you know so um i don't know if i've made any sense to you guys but um i'm just saying that guys just prepare your minds for anything decisions like what the md of access bank has just made many more will come and um it's not because they actually hate the staff or because they've been looking for a way to cut down or number of staffs or whatnot no but then it wouldn't really make sense you know that there's a curfew by 8 p.m there's a lockdown partial lockdown still going on and which will continue anyways you know and then banks all banking halls are still open even when it is obvious that um according to government stipulations that people should not even go into the banking halls for health and safety reasons you know so um a lot of that and many other reasons guys i think that is why the md is making this particular decision so guys um let's be hopeful that covid19 is going to end soon enough so that life will go back to the best way not to what it used to be because as i have said in that other video that life will never go back to the same way it was it can only be different it can only change you know so um remember to wash your hands stay safe use your face mask use your alcohol based hand sanitizer stay safe and eat healthy boost your immune system so that together we can all fight the spread of covid19 i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to also turn on post notification to become a part of this family thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye